Hello, algebra students. Fair warning, I'm going to be tricky and combine two GED skills into this one problem. Let's take a look. It says, translate the phrase half the sum of 3x and 7 is 11 into an equation, then solve. So both of these skills come up on the GED, translating um, phrases into equations and solving. So we're going to do both. Let's start by translating. Half the sum of 3x and 7 is 11. All right, let's start with the half. That's easy, half. Now, when you half something, this is something students struggle with. That means you're going to take one half and multiply by that thing. Now, you might say, Kate, doesn't it actually mean that I'm going to take that thing and half it, divide it into two equal pieces? Same difference. So what you're writing means the same as what I'm writing. So sure, you can write it that way. But I'm going to write it the way I usually do with fractions, which is when you say half of something, that means you can take that fraction and multiply it by that something. So now, what's the something? The something is... The sum of 3x and 7. The sum of 3x and 7. What does sum mean? It means a multiple. I mean, a, woo. What does sum mean? It means an addition expression. So 3x and 7, well, they're adding. And notice how I have those parentheses so that entire expression is being halved. I'm halving the whole sum. And now that is, yay, is, I just got an equation. It is. 11. Nice. Get rid of this. Now I have an expression that I can. Now, guys, I'm struggling. Here we go. Now I have an equation that I can solve. A um, couple of ways I can do it. Yeah, I think I'll do it this way since this is how we've been doing it. Notice on the left hand side, that one half is shoved up against those parentheses, which means I can multiply it through. Um, and I think I will, and you can do it in your calculator if you'd like. But one half of three is three halves, or it's 1.5. You should know how to toggle back and forth in your calculator by now. And one half of seven is seven halves, or 3.5, same difference. And that's going to be equivalent to 11. And now I have a two-step equation to solve. Let's see. Remember, when you're solving, you work backwards. So I'm going to take away whatever's adding or subtracting first, as long as it's not inside of a grouping. Say that again, as long as it's not trapped in a grouping. So adding 3.5, subtracting 3.5 cancels. I have 1.5x is equal to... 7.5. Uh, let's transfer that over, actually. We need room. 1.5x is equal to 7.5. Awesome. X is not alone yet. Let's isolate him, get him alone by getting rid of this 1.5. It's multiplying, so I will do the opposite. I'll divide. And that's legal as long as I keep the two sides equivalent by doing the same thing on the other side. Multiplying by 1.5 and dividing by 1.5 cancel. X is alone like I wanted. And there's the math to do. What is that? Three, six, oh, it's five. And so X is five. Ooh, nice job guys, super proud of you. All right, happy learning.